Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morrison. Today, I'm getting into some more Linux Terminal 101. And this week, we're getting into pipelines, like in Mario or Mario, like I said before. You're probably familiar with using this little pipe vertical bar thing in the terminal, but if not, here's what you do. Basically, this means that we can pipe the standard output of one command to the standard input of another. So you can take a command like less, which you're familiar with, because it accepts standard input. We can use less to display the output of this command. So for example, I can type in ls tacl slash usr slash bin. Use the pipeline and then type less. Ta-da! Ha! That's handy! We can also put several commands together with pipelines, and these are called filters. Filters take input, it changes it somehow, and then outputs it as something else. So let's make a combined list of all the executable programs in a couple of folders to view. For example, I could type in something like, let me quit out of there, ls tac l, oh, ls slash bin, and then slash usr slash bin use the pipe, sort, and then another pipe, less. And press enter and it gives me one single list. So these, using this sort makes those two directories list info into one sorted list instead of two separate ones. Kind of useful if you wanted to use that. Now that we know what sort does, we can also add another command called unique. Unique will remove any kind of duplicate lines from a standard input or a single file name argument. For example, I could do something like, quit out of there, ls, and I could type in something like uh, slash bin, slash usr, slash bin. I just love those. Sort, unique, so you're adding another one in there, and then less. Now that is going to remove duplicates from the sort command. And if we wanted to see the list of duplicates, we can also type in a command like ls, slash bin slash usr slash bin of course and then sort unique whoops unique and then at the end put tack d and then pipe less there you go so now you see that list of duplicates now let's use pipes a little bit further. Don't worry, we're almost done. I want to see a line, a word, and a byte count using the wc command. I could type in something like wc ls tech output. Actually, I'll use a different one, trust.txt. So it shows me the line count, the byte count, and the word count in that certain text document. And it, it accepts standard input. We can also add an option to the end of it, like tack L, which will only report lines. So you could try this, for example. ls slash bin slash usr slash bin pipe sort pipe unique. And then at the end, you'll add wc tack L. Bam. So now you just get type L, it reports your lines. Now let's try using pipelines with grep. I know you guys love grep, right? Grep can find patterns in text and it'll print out all of those patterns for you to see. So you could try something like this, ls slash bin slash usr slash bin, and then type in sort, whoop. Guess you don't need the space there, but I always put a space, unique, and then grep and at the end at zip. So this will list all of the text that is with that has the word zip in them. So you see zip is highlighted in red whenever I do that. And a few bonuses, grep tech I will ignore case, usually it's kind of case sensitive, and tech V will print only lines that don't match a sort of pattern. Since we've been working with output, let's try another command called head or tail. Type in head tech n and then five. So head tech n five for five lines and then ls tech output or i'm going to use the trust.txt again one that i made a while back and you'll see the first five lines of text and head is usually going to print 
the first 10 lines automatically for any known text document, but you can always change it with the TAC N option and then some kind of number right after that. And the same goes for tail. So for example, you could type in tail TAC N five, and then your trust.txt. Now for trust.txt, I only obviously have one line, but if you had several lines, it would list the last five lines in that one. Or you can also use a pipeline. For example, you could type in ls slash usr slash bin tac tail tac n five. And it'll list the last five directories in there. Tail will also let you view files in real time as they are created by typing something like tail tac f, which continues to monitor the files, and then type in the directory of your choice. For example, you could type in uh, slash var slash log slash messages, and it'll continuously write lines until you hit control C to quit it. Okay, so one more command to get familiar with pipelines. This last one is called the T command, T-E-E, -E, like T, you know, T. I guess that's how you do it, right, T? Which copies two outputs and one or more files at the same time. So you can try this example, ls slash usr slash bin, because I love that one. It's so easy for examples. T and then ls.txt. And then pipe grep space zip, bam. And this will send the directory listings to the file ls.txt, and then it'll grep the filters and the contents. Bam! And then, of course, I also have zip highlighted in red because I use that grep one once again. Now you can check out the man pages for each of these, but this is just the beginning. There's so much more you can do with pipes. They're really, really handy, and they're one of the most popular ones for me. But first, Make sure to email me tips at hack5.org with your thoughts, your favorite commands, or you can comment below, of course, and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolist and trust those commands.